not too often do you get the chance to meet with someone so rare and extravagant as our interviewee. I'm Daniela Gourlay. I'm standing outside of the illustrious Dag Manor. In a few moments, I'll be able to sit down with the elusive Professor Dag and ask him some burning questions, such as, who is he? And where does he come from? Join us as we delve into the life of Professor Dag. A man of extreme intrigue. Not many know of this legendary Professor Dag, who's chosen to remain hidden from the world. But once you have encountered this strange breed of a person, you will not only be enlightened, but you'll understand things that you probably shouldn't. Peanut butter. Well, let me cut on A man from an unknown past. His works have mostly gone unnoticed. Here at Light Nine, we've finally been able to track him down and get a one on one interview. Here, you'll be able to discover the many talents and skills of Mr. Professor Dagg. What's that? Ah, yes. I see. I'm Daniela Gourlay. I had the pleasure to sit down with the elusive Professor Dagg. Welcome to my humble abode. Professor Dagg. First off, I just want to say thank you so much for agreeing to do this interview. It's my pleasure. Thank you for agreeing with me. You are stunning. Your hair is magnificent. Well, I try. Thank you for these beautiful accommodations for this interview. At Dag Manor, we try to accommodate anyone and who would be welcome to be here. <laughs> At Dag Manor, we have over 3,000 rooms. Is Professor Dag your real name? And what does it mean? It is my birth name. First name, Professor. Last name, Dag. A shaman once told me it meant genius prodigy in the ancient languages. Where are you born, Professor? Where are you from? I was born in a janitorial closet at Yale University with several doctorate degrees and a few Nobel Peace Prizes. Yes, the doctorate degrees and the Nobel Peace Prizes came attached to my left thigh, which could be peeled away and shown to my credentials. My mother was an astrophysicist, the botany expert, and my father, he was a cytogenesis and a master of horology. We both had a large collection of awards and honors, and pipes. Hmm, interesting. I remember when I first read about my father in the newspaper. And I remember when my mother discovered the cure for walking funny. I remember when I received my 100th degree in a doctorate of literature. I was skiing on the banks of the Amazon River after I had descended the Mount Everest with my pet monkey and crew. It is there I discovered the cure 
The cure for the common, uncommon sensibles. Amazing! <laughs> yes. Well, Professor Dagg, I know that you're a very busy man. I must ask you one more burning question. One that has been in need of an answer for long, long ages. And has divided so many. If a frog farted in the forest and no one was there to hear it, would it truly make a sound? Well, that would be a question for the frog to answer. But by my calculations, it would definitely make a smell. Amazing! Yes. Well, we hope here at Light Nine News that you have walked away with a little bit more perspective of life and the meaning of it. Professor Dagg, thank you so much for agreeing to do this interview. You're quite welcome. I'm Daniela Gourlay. Good night.